let us solve another problem on disk and here we are considering a hard disk consisting of multiple platters and each and every platter has got two surfaces where we can perform read and write to have the conception of platter surfaces read write heads cylinders track sector please watch the respective video where we have discussed everything with a suitable diagram so now in this particular problem let us discuss the problem at first this question came in the gate exam 2009 okay now see a hard disk has got 63 sectors okay so let me write that one so sector 63 now it is having 10 platters so platter number of platter is equal to 10 so number of sectors per track is 63 number of platters is equal to 10 and then we are having two recording surfaces so surface per platter surface per platter is equal to 2 the address of a sector is given as a triple triple means c h s so it will be coming as c then h then s where C is the cylinder number. H is the surface number. And we are, we are having the S is the sector number. So cylinder number, sector number and surface number. So they will be coming in this order only, triple. Thus, the zero sector will be written as 0, 0, 0. That means 0 cylinder number, 0 surface number, and 0 sector number. And the first sector will be denoted as 0, 0, 1. And the first sector will be denoted as 0, 0, 1, and so on. So, in this way, the things are getting arranged. The address 400, that is the cylinder number 16, there is a surface number 29, there is a sector number corresponds to the sector number which. So, it is corresponding to the which sector number, which block it is corresponding. So, answers are given, you should have to find it out. Now, let me tell you the disk, in, in, in case of disk management, where we are having multiple platters, that means multiple disks are there. On the both side, you can do the read write. So, that is why the surface uh, has got two and here we are having 10 platters. And you know that on each and every platter surface, we are having the tracks. Tracks with the same radius available on different surfaces of different platters will form a cylinder. Tracks with the same radius on different surfaces on different platters will form one cylinder. So, in this way, we are having multiple cylinders with the different radius. Okay, good. Now, let me tell you how this particular data is getting stored. At first, the data will be stored on the first cylinder first cylinder first track it will store that means all the sectors on that very track on the very first cylinder will be numbered sequentially then it will come to the next track of the same cylinder and it will consider all the sectors in that particular way then it will come the on to the next track on the same cylinder in this way after getting exhausted that means our tra after traversing all the sectors per track within the same cylinder then it will go to the next cylinder then it will go to the next first track of that very cylinder and the first sector will be referred so in this way these particular blocks and sectors are numbered so i think you are getting the idea how the sectors are getting numbered good now we are having this particular 400, 400 means what? 400 means cylinder number 400. Actually it is not 400, it is actually, it is starting from 0 because it has been told that it is starting from 0, that is actually it is 401st cylinder. So obviously that is true. So now let me go for the problem. So I am writing this one. Now in this way, we can do the calculation. So what is the calculation here? We are going to the 400th 
cylinder so 400 cylinder so to move this one per cylinder we are having 10 number of platters each platter is having two sides so 10 number of platters and two sides and we are having 63 sectors we are having 63 sectors so 10 number of platters two sides are there and then we are, we are having 63 sectors so in this way if you go on multiplying with 400 you are reaching to this particular sector so this number of sectors are to be skipped then only you can move to the cylinder number 400 so actually it is not 400 it is 401 as it is being starting from 0 so I have mentioned that one here also so that is the way to come to the 400th cylinder okay now then to skip to the 16th surface of the cylinder so that is the 16th so 16th surface of the cylinder numbered for 400 we need to skip another for uh, 16 into 63 is equal to 1008 number of sectors so that number of sectors are to be skipped so we have considered this very figure we have considered this very figure we are remaining with this 29 so now let me go for the 29 okay now so to finally to find the 29 sector we need to skip another 29 sectors so total number of sectors we moved will be equal to that is my 504 plus 1008 plus 29 so if you go on adding it will be coming as 505037 it will be coming as 505037 sectors so this is the answer that will be mentioned so now let me go for further explanation once when i am coming to the 400th cylinder that means you see i am crossing 400 number of cylinders because actually it is 400 means 401 so we are having how many platters 10 platters how many surfaces two surfaces so in this way we are getting per surface we are getting 63 number of sectors so now we are getting this 10 into 2 so 10 into 2 number of tracks will be there part track we are having this 63 number of cylinders so that is the this uh, sectors so this number of sectors we are crossing for one cylinder so for 400 cylinders so that will be the value and then i am going to the 16th surface of the cylinder so again i shall have to skip 16 into 63 so that this number of cylinders now we are going to find the 29th sector so again i am adding this 29 and that is the way to calculate the value so in this way if such uh, address related calculation related problem comes you should have to solve this one in this way thanks for watching this video